Hey everybody, so here is my little tutorial help for those of you that are at Saboteur Middle and you're going uh, to 6th to 7th grade or for the 7th graders going to 8th grade. Um, I know it's been a weird semester, but hopefully this will help you guys out. Okay, so um, first thing you want to check out is your time signature, which is 4-4, and then scan through the whole piece to see if it changes. It doesn't, so we're always in 4. Um, then look at your tempo marking. So right above that, you see it says quarter note equals 92 to 108. So um, I know in my head, uh, when we do these games in classes and stuff like that, if I know my tempo is between 92 and 108, it's a little bit slow, but it'll still work for us. Um, all of our rolls, we're going to play 16th notes. So if I give you a quarter note, it's one, two at 92, one, two. So that means you're gonna roll for that, which means we have to play a rhythm. So the rhythm is one E and a two, one E and a two. So you would go one E and a two, or buzzy and a two. So that's for all the quarter notes. So now wrist real quick, I'm gonna scan through. Every roll is a quarter note, or the roll is an eighth note. So if, uh, if it's a quarter note, one, two, we were doing four sixteenths. If you do an eighth note, it's twice as fast, or half as long, depending on how you wanna say it. So it would go one and, one and so we have buzzy and buzzy and is how all the eighth notes will go okay so now again before i just start playing i always want to look through the piece so now i'm gonna look okay we start forte and then the whole first line is forte which is strong second line still at forte third line first measure forte then there's finally a quarter note rest or sorry there actually was one earlier but right after that quarter note rest we're at piano we do two things when we go to piano we bring our heights down and we bring our sticks forward towards the edge of the drum pad closer to you, not further away. And then the piece continues piano all the way to the end. So you guys should get this. Um, one thing to be careful of, the very first measure, there's an accent on the roll. Um, accents aren't up here. The accent should just be slightly louder than whatever note volume you're at. So if we're at a forte, then the accent would be barely with hear a difference but on the drum you would you just put a little more force but you don't go up here for the accent and then your regular note is there we don't play like that <clears throat> um and then just be careful uh i don't ever like to play buzz rolls with one accent so going like i actually will do both hands so if i was playing just the rhythm of um, measure one and not playing a roll i would go one e so those two notes are the same height one e and then a little bit lower and one E and up. Do that with me. Ready and go. And one E and up. And again, we're playing one E louder than and uh softer. One E and up. Again, ready and go. And one E and up. I'm saying one E and up, but it's two E and up. Okay, but you got this though. First measure is super easy. Let's do it together. One and two and ready and go. And one. Buzzy and a three. Four E and stop. One. Buzzy and a three. 40 and stop again ready and go and one buzzy and a three 40 and stop good second measure we have one e and rest and three buzzy and a one one e and rest and three buzzy and a one i play all of since this is a slower tempo when i say slower it's somewhere slower than 130 140 i'm gonna play the eighth notes with one hand so i go right left right rest right right not right left because it's slow and i don't want my sticks to ever sound different it's so much easier to make the same hand sound the same versus changing hands so i'm going one e and rest right right four e and a one let's do it together ready and a go and one e and rest and three buzzy and a one again ready and a go and one e and rest and three buzzy and a one beautiful Third measure, super easy. I bet you could read it with me. Ready? Ready, third measure, go. One, two, and three, and four. And notice my sticking is right, 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 because the rhythm is slow, so slow and easy to sound your sticks to make the rhythm sound the same. I don't want a chance going, I would rather just go. So it's one, right, left, right, 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 right. Do that together, ready, and a go. And measure three, two, and right, right, right. Beautiful. Last measure of the first line, we have one buzzy two and a three rest. Make sure you don't forget that that rest is there. Um, it's okay to do old school and let the sticks go out on the rest. <clears throat> but most importantly, you have one buzzy two and a three 
That's the same rhythm twice. One and a two and a three, except for the first beat, you roll it. One, buzzy two and a three, it's the same rhythm. So I would play one and a two and a three. One, buzzy two and a three. Let's do that together. Ready and go. And one, buzzy two, buzzy three. Oop, I said buzzy, but I played the right thing. Again, ready and a go. And one, buzzy two and a three. Four, stop. And now we're on the second line. Let's do it again. Ready and measure four. One, buzzy two and a three. Four, stop. And then I said stop on beat one of the next line. So many people are going to skip that rest. Don't do it. That's why I say just go out with your hands and everything's okay. All right, ready? Here's line two. <clears throat> Super easy rhythms again. Let's just read it. Ready and go. And one and two and three and a four. A lot of right hand driven. Right, left, right, 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 left, right. Again, ready and go. And one and two and three and a four. When you're doing this lesson with me, count. It makes it so much easier. Don't just sort of hear what's going on and move your hands. Count. Tell your hands what to do. That's what our mouth and our brain is for. All right. Here's measure six, or the second measure of the second line. <clears throat> it's almost the same as what you just played, except for beat three is different, so don't let your eyes play tricks on you. Now it's one and two and three and four. One and two and three and four. All right hand driven. Ready and go. And one and right, 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 left, right, right. <clears throat> there you go. So again, measures five and six of the second line. It's just beat three that's different. Everything else is your right hand. Okay, now let's look at the last measure of the second line. You have one buzzy two E and three buzzy four E and. Beats one and two are the same as beats three and four. So let's just do the first two beats. We have one buzzy two E and, one buzzy two E and. With me, ready and go. And one buzzy two E and. And remember, just a reminder, if you haven't watched my buzz roll tutorial video, get on it. When we play buzz rolls, you should be using your arms, not your wrists, not your fingers, just literally just press your arms a little bit. Not, and not, but don't move your fingers, don't open, close, just a little bit of arm, and your buzzles will be there. Ready? So let's play that whole measure now. One, buzzy, two, E, and three, buzzy, four, E, and ready, and the go, and one, buzzy, two, E, and three, buzzy, four, E, and. Beautiful. Line three. Last measure of forte, or last measure of loud. We have one, buzzy two, buzzy three, four, stop. And when you do four, I'm not gonna go out, I'm actually gonna go forward. So I'm gonna tell my brain and my hands I'm about to play quiet. So you have one, buzzy two, buzzy three, push, one. And now we're already at the edge, we bring our hype down, and then we're ready to play piano. Here's line three, measure one. Ready and a go, and one, buzzy two, buzzy three, push. Again, ready and a go. And one, buzz and two, buzz and three, push. One. And you notice I'm whispering when I finish because I'm just telling my brain, telling you we're gonna play quiet now. Remember, quiet is sticks low and sticks forward towards the front of your drum pad or 12 o'clock. Okay, ready? Next measure is super easy. Buzzy and a two, buzzy and a four. But it's at the edge, just a little bit of arm. Buzzy and a two, buzzy and a four. Ready? Ready and go. And buzzy and a two. Buzzy and a four. Beautiful. Next measure, one E and two and a three E and four. One E and two and a three E and four. Say it with me and play it. Ready, at the edge still. Ready and go. One E and two and a three E and four. Again, ready and a go. And one E and two and a three E and four. Beautiful. You already played this last measure of the line because it's the same as the, the piano measure. Piano measure. Last measure, same thing. So we have buzzy and a two, buzzy and a four. Again, ready and go. Buzzy and a two, buzzy and a four. Beautiful, we're on the very last line, you got this. If you look at the very last line, and then you look up one, you see that, oh, it's the same thing. One, buzzy two, buzzy three, done. The only difference, the last measure is piano. If you look up, that's forte. So now we're gonna do that as piano. One, buzzy, two, buzzy, three. Again, ready, to gather, go. One, buzzy, two, buzzy, three. All right, that's it. We'll go through it all together right now, slowly. And then if you can, if you continue through the playlist, uh, I have the different tempos for you. But this is us just doing it nice and slow at 80 and relax, ready? Ready? One, two, and ready, and beginning. One, buzzy, and a three. Buzzy and one, and rest, and three. Four, and a one.
Peace out.